All right. We're going to talk really fast. Well, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Uh, I have to start with, um, since it is election season coming up, as several have mentioned, uh, I have the greatest council, uh, I think, in the county, and, and uh, one of them's here, at least one of them, Joe Boca. And so Joe will be running for re-election, so do not run for city council in St. George, okay? Because I need Joe back. And I think Joe actually does a great job of representing the Southern Utah Home Builders Association. The other one running is Michelle Randall, and, and then the, the, the mayor might be running as well. So, so, but run against him if you want. <laughs> anyway, no, it's it's great working. As I'm going to begin where Mayor Bramall left off. Really, it is one. I honestly tell you, it's one of the greatest things about my job is getting to work with these mayors and all the other mayors of Washington County and beyond. But I call these the Big Five. And uh, I know in, in Washington County, how big can it be? But it's big for us, right? And, it, and we do, we, we really enjoy working together. I certainly do. And um, I've really enjoyed uh, being the new kid on the block. Uh, Mayor Bramble and I were elected uh, for the, our first time the same, same year, uh, you know, almost four years ago. So it's just a great privilege. I appreciate you and all you do. The Parade of Homes is incredible. Uh, we, we had, it's estimated, around 30,000 visitors here the weekend of President's Day weekend. Uh, that is, we believe now, our busiest weekend of the year. Uh, and so, like uh, Mayor Rosenberg said, we thought, well, then let's throw in a bike race while we're at it. Because <laughs> we haven't gotten enough soccer and baseball and softball and parade of homes and whatever else. And of course, we threw in a rainstorm as well uh, this year. So, but it, it's fantastic for the area. Thank you for all you do. Uh, just a couple things I'd like to mention in terms of recreation. Um, we're continuing as, as best we can and trying to do it with, in balance trying to expand trails. One of my favorite projects will be, when we ever get to it, Mayor Nielsen, is, is the missing link that connects uh, St. George with Washington City over there just off Riverside and by the, uh, what's called the, the uh, Skimboard Park. And so I hope we get to do that. We're studying and trying to engineer that this year. Hope we'll build it before you and I are out of office, Mayor. Then we can go ride it together. So uh, we, we enjoy that. We have some new fields. We'll open two new sports fields, soccer fields, etc., cetera, uh, out in our Little Valley complex. They're ready to be open, just giving them as long as we can. Um, uh, the, when you have some rain and a bunch of tournaments uh, at the same time, it uh, can wreak havoc on your soccer field. So, I wish we could afford to build um, and that it wasn't so hot so that we could have more artificial turf down here. Maybe someday, we'll see. But anyway, more, more coming there. Downtown St. George, you'll see more wayfinding signs coming up soon. We started that on our trails and hope to be able to help people understand distances, times, walking or riding bikes on our trails and around the city and hope to tie that into to our surrounding cities as well. Uh, eventually, as they have some great signage, especially Ivan's had some good wayfinding signs. Hope to emulate them and some of the things we do. Um, in terms of retail and office, uh, a lot of commercial, our biggest commercial yet, uh, ever this past year in terms of permits and valuations. And so look for that to continue, and many of you are involved or will be involved with that. Um, we too have, uh, just last year, we approved three different areas or specific projects that are specifically short-term rentals. So while we don't allow them in every residential neighborhood, we do have some areas that have been designated for them and they're doing very well and some are just under construction now. Our downtown, just want to mention the City View project, and again, these are not city projects, but we might have had something to do with them. In this case, we sold a couple of acres of property that we've been uh, ha hanging on to for years. Uh, right in the downtown area on the corner of Main Street and the Boulevard will be a, a I can't tell you which brand, but a brand name you'll know, uh, boutique hotel, 60 beds, 60 rooms, and uh, adjacent to that will be two apartment buildings with on the, on the ground floor retail and the top three floors apartments. And uh, mostly, well, there'll be um, um, studios, one bedrooms, two bedrooms, total of 110 
apartments in those two buildings. One's right on the boulevard and it kind of runs south, if you will, and then towards Tabernacle. The second one really faces uh, Tabernacle and those two again uh, kind of connect. They have shared underground parking and there will be, as I said, retail on the first floors. We hope to connect those, uh, we will connect those uh, with their, new, their neighbor, the new owners of um, Green Gate Village and, uh, and you, that's boutique retail, if you will. I think that will have a nice connection right there at Judd's store right next to these new buildings. And then uh, going further to the east, the current shops on Main Street, essentially their back doors will become second front doors. And we'll have a little alleyway between there where the parking is accessed. But we hope that will really uh, uh, do what we've been trying to do for years, and that is bring more people to live, work, and play, shop downtown. So we're, we're hopeful that that will um, uh, kick off and break ground shortly. In fact, I, I have some work on that to do today, and then we hope it'll, it'll be coming very soon. We'll let you know. Also, just a little further to the west, the Wilkinson property. Um, just a couple weeks ago in the city council, we approved a new development there called Jewel Plaza. Jewel is an electric term if you know that and uh, they will be building over 200 apartments retail again on the ground floor uh, four to five stories they've staggered some of it we hope it's okay right Joe right we think it will be that's Joe's neighborhood he's a good watchdog but we really are looking forward to again more apartments we have we have about 1% vacancy is all uh, in apartments in the city and so we need some more Here's a chance over the next couple of years, we'll probably get, you know, 300-ish apartments right in the heart of downtown. We have a new school, uh, and, and so we, the, the school district just opened a couple weeks ago. We look forward to being able to attract families to that downtown area. Tech Ridge, we're doing, that's the old airport site. We're doing, doing currently a market assessment to find out what we are ready for what the market will bear today and in the future over about a 15 year time. So more on that to come. Just had a meeting with our consultant yesterday and uh, more yet to come and, and that will be uh, public as we, as we learn the information that we hope will, will give us a roadmap for what we should do and when up there, what types of building and services. Also, uh, you know, really when you think about that Tech Ridge, as we're, we're affectionately calling it, it really is all about economic development, giving a place for current businesses, uh, some you might know well, uh, that would like to locate there, and, uh, and some from elsewhere that would like to locate there. Not just high tech, but many, maybe it would be high tech. And, and so we hope that increases opportunity and of course wages. We can keep more of our kids, grandkids, and, and other loved ones here. Uh, just to maybe finish up, we are enjoying in our area about a 2.5% growth rate. Uh, I think that's about as good as we need, folks. Uh, I don't know, it feels sustainable. I think 8.6%, the average during the 90s was very difficult, and I would not advocate a return to that. Uh, but we're working hard, as the other mayors have said, to really try to do all that we can to incentivize uh, different types of housing and to figure out how we can best accomplish that through water and, and other impact fees. And, um, you know, last year 4.3 million visitors came to Zion National Park. I was one of those. I guess I'm not really a visitor, but I did visit the park. And, and it's amazing. I went up to Springdale this weekend with my wife. Uh, Vardell, where are you? I rode my Harley, we took the Harley, and uh, I don't go as far as uh, Vardell does, but it was fantastic weather. The shuttle started, and they're off to the races. They had their biggest January ever, and uh, that used to be the off season, right, Mayor Bramble? Uh, they're, they're busy, they expect over five million visitors this year. It is, I noticed today in, in a production, the fifth busiest national park in the country. Thank you for all you do. It's good to be a, a part of uh, the same community with each of you. Thank you and have a good day.